What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another, welcome back to another episode of Parker's Outdoor Lifestyle. So today we're talking about winter fly fishing. So I'm gonna throw you five of my top flies for the winter. And so what's gonna, we're just gonna, we have my my midge box here. That's what it's gonna be. Midges, tiny stuff that we're throwing here and gonna send for the Taylor Kitchen release on the gonna send on what's not frozen there uh what's not frozen on the east river so yeah we're just gonna get into it so coming at number one we have the rainbow warrior this is definitely probably one of the more flashy flies out there if i can get this thing to uh what is it to uh what is it first one is rainbow warrior Usually for midges, I'm going sizes 18 to 24. So that's usually a good spe spectrum for trying to get, you know, for midges. And their thing is trout will eat these. They're, they're small in the winter. They're lethargic in deep pools with slow water. They don't want to go out and just try to shoot out and go try to chase fish or anything. They want something that'll come right in front of their head or something that they don't have to expend a lot of energy to work for. So number two, a blue Juju B midge right here. Super small, super tiny. Lens isn't the best for macro shots. Definitely a good fly. If you can see that, it's a little blue black little tip with some little wings on it that's a good one at the moment a uh, good one as well definitely at 18 to 24 just small you know whenever you choose between like one to use like a something with a bead or something on it or bead or unweighted uh, fly it just depends on where you're fishing if those fish are finicky they're pressured they're smart I'd go with the unweighted one, something that was float on there looking as natural, natural as possible. If you can get away with using a bead, I'd say go for it. You know, that's kind of how kind of how you think about it. If you can get away with using a bead, I'd say go for it. But if those fish are just finicky and hard, take off the, uh, go to unweighted ones and just put a heavier split shot down below, uh, up on your nymph rig and just make sure that thing gets down deep enough to those fish. All right, for number three, we have a pheasant tail, but an unweighted pheasant tail in a small one. So usually I put a, like a bigger one of these underneath the dry dropper rig or when I'm stream fishing or anything else during the summer, put a weight on it. But no, that's a really good fly kind of for everything. Beadhead pheasant tail, you can use it for anything. It's good all year round, but make sure you really downsize because uh, it's only non-midge that's in this sort of group so just make it really just use it really small like go 18 and smaller than that let's see so there's kind of two in the next category and it is zebra midges and there's so many different varieties that you can get but i mean i've had the best luck with the black and the red zebra midges so for the black and the reds they really mimic a lot. So on the East River, they have bloodworms too that can be imitated with the red ones. That that's uh, definitely one definitely one of the ones I lost in my box. Hold on. Gotta stay organized for all this. But yeah, just the regular zebra midge. So next, this is kind of a pretty popular one. Uh, it's uh, Dorsey's Black Beauty, size 22 and 24. Now these things are small. Uh, like I gotta, I gotta find a way to get to uh, you know record smaller things on this camera using this lens. Yeah, it doesn't like it doesn't do very well shooting macro, really close up stuff. Yeah, Dorsey's Black Beauty, 22 and up, something really small, I would say. Then. I guess I, I could probably finish it off with, uh, you know, sometimes you can get kind of extravagant with the colors and everything else around. So I literally bought this yesterday from a tackle shop. Just I was just saying, hey, what's, you know, what's good, what's biting, you know, trying to get as much information as I can. 
and I cannot remember this, it's some sort of midge, but it's pink. I cannot, I cannot remember what, <laughs> what it is exactly. It's just a small pink midge. I don't know the exact name of it, but it's like, yep, put that under a le like a mini leech or something tied up top. And that's, you know, usually really good. So that's gonna be something I try. But no, sometimes you can just get extravagant, you know, with, for instance, on the Taylor Reservoir, there's my cyst shrimp uh, in there. And so when on the tail water, those get swept down in there. So something like this, a little my cyst shrimp, that's a really good one. But it all just depends on, you know, what you have. You can use bigger chironomids, uh, as something like these like just a bigger bigger midge right there let's see if we can get that yeah so it's like a bigger midge let's see if you can see that a little bit better there you go right there bigger midge right there but yeah it just depends on what y'all got like what's what's in your what what's in your water so i'll do it for that so there's a some good tailwater winter flies uh, for you and you know it, it's obviously dependent on where you are I mean these are what's good around here and around Colorado I go out to the tackle shops you know twice a week I don't necessarily buy things but I just go to go converse and talk to people well, that's what you got to do if you want to you know figure out what's uh, what they're biting on but yeah it's a uh, but yeah but yeah that's the video I hope this helped and you know kind of for you choosing your winter fly selection but yeah, like and comment on the video. Subscribe if you want more videos like this. This is Vlogmas Day 2. And that's, wait, no. Day 3. Day 3. Vlogmas Day 3. And there's going to be more. Every video. One, one video a day till Christmas. It's going to happen. Go out, follow Parker's, or Parker's, go follow Parker's Outdoor Lifestyle on all the social medias below. Trendsetter Outdoor Stickers, the band, brand I'm building free stickers just dm me i'll get them shipped out to you no problem other than that hope you have a great day i'll catch you on the next one peace